Hey folks, Jonathan here. I uh, wanted to do a little video, show a few things I, I've got. One thing I picked up here, and uh, Zippo Varga, I was talking to him about this. Uh, this is actually a Shriners uh, Parade fire truck. And it's modeled, I guess, after the Model T. And some people have seen the uh, Model T cars, but the fire trucks seem to be kind of scarce. Uh, this was actually VFW 9808, so this was actually Mechanicsville, Virginia is where it came from. Now somebody started restoring it, they've repainted it, uh, done a, a fairly good job on it. I mean, as good as it needs to be for what it is. But uh, missing a few things, the other clip for the windshield on that side, but stuff that's pretty easy to make, so it needs a uh, plexiglass windshield. Uh, the bell's cracked, but I've actually got another bell for it. Uh, it's a little tiny bit bigger, but it'll it'll work right on there. This thing takes bicycle tires, 16 inch. So I think I'll I'll probably end up buying some of them. Uh, you know, this is just a project that I had picked up that that uh is just waiting. And uh, this thing, believe it or not, I'm six foot tall. I can fit right in it. So I mean, it's it's pretty much built for a for a grown man. Uh, but you know. I was unloading it and my grandson was here and he was looking out the window and the window was open and he was yelling, Papa, I like it, I like it. So, you know, it'll probably just hang around. Uh, headlights that was made out of, uh, out of cans. And I don't know what they originally had or if that's just something somebody put on it or what. Now, I think this thing had like a three horse Briggs or something on it, but I'll probably just pick up a Predator or, or something for it. You know, it don't have to be anything. Uh, that matches what it's supposed to be. It's got uh, it's got a gearbox, and actually this gearbox swings back, and that you, it tightens the belt up, so that's how your clutch works. So you can use about any engine you want with just a, a belt, you know, a V-belt pulley, and uh, pretty nice shape for what it is. Uh, I don't know what year it is. You know, somebody may know a little more about them than I am, because I don't know much about them, but and don't know the manufacturer of it, but. You know, I'm guessing they, you know, I remember the parades back in the in the 70s that used them, but I mean, this could have been 70s, 80s, you know, anywhere up through there. But I thought it was pretty neat. And uh, it's really neat that the way they build it, that you can actually, you know, the steering wheel's offset to the side a little bit, but you can actually get right in it. And, uh, you know, it's not a, it's, it's really not an issue for a, for somebody, you know, that weighs a couple hundred pounds to get right in there and, and drive it. Plenty of room, so and uh, two kids could sit in it, no problem. But uh, didn't have a reverse on it, and uh, probably not too worried about that anyway. I mean, don't really matter. But I've got a couple of old lawnmowers I wanted to show you and give you a little history on one of them that's pretty rare. And uh, I've actually got two of that particular one, but uh, one of them I've got taken apart and, and put away. It's been sandblasted and painted and really needs to put back together. But anyway, wanted to show you. Okay, here's one of the, I, I sort of like these little mini lawnmowers, the old ones. And this is one that I had traded for. You know, it was just in on a deal, and I, I've really never done anything with it, but it would be a nice one to, to do. It's actually a Huffy and uh, Sheraton, and it's in pretty good shape. It's fiberglass hood, fiberglass rear fenders. Normally that stuff would be beat up, and, and uh, you know, it's just sitting around waiting on something to to get done with it, but seven horsepower, it's got the deck on it, uh, you know, it's really compact and small, it's probably got, what, a 30 inch deck maybe, oh, a 26 inch deck actually, but, uh, you know, this one here I think is a 1968, I think they only made this one, or maybe two years, but, uh, be a pretty, pretty nice little mower for somebody to restore and do something with, and I think everybody's seen the, uh, go-kart I built for my grandson, that's, uh, it's in the back of the old International. Uh, we actually took it somewhere. So. Okay, here is a Mustang Mow It. And I've actually got the deck for it, got everything for it. It's probably about a 20, maybe a 26 inch mower. A little tiny. Uh, this was the seven horse. And they always put the sticker on the front of what horsepower it was. This thing is tiny. It's a little, little tiny one. It's not really that rare. There's, you know, quite a few of them around. Uh, I think somebody set a bag of fertilizer or something on the seat and it got down on the transmission and on the engine. It actually ate a hole in the engine and we went ahead and cleaned it up and JB welded it. 
but it ate the bottom mounts of the transmission and it thinned that out and the pulley broke. So I need a transmission for it. Uh, you know, we've had the engine running on it. Uh, it's been a long time ago, but but it will run. And uh, one of these days, you know, if my grandson gets to the right age, you know, where he's interested in this stuff, then it would uh, you know, sort of motivate me to help him out. But, okay. This particular tractor here, or lawn mower, is actually called a Bantam, but it's not the same as the Bantams that most people know. Uh, Bantam made a garden tractor, and they were, you know, a pretty cute little garden tractor. It sort of looked like a tricycle tractor. Now this has got a cast iron front that's got Bantam up and down it, and it's front wheel drive, and to reverse it, you just spin the wheels all the way around, and it goes backwards. And you can actually cut them sideways and sort of do donuts with it. But these came with a Lawson engine, which it still got. And this was actually a parts mower that I bought. I've got two of these. The other one is taken apart, sandblasted, and uh, primed. Part of it's painted, and it's ready to go back together. And uh, so that might be, you know, a future project. And like I said, probably with my grandson. But uh, this one here is uh, actually in pretty good shape. It could probably be fixed, but. These are really rare mowers, and uh, there's, if you search Google, you can find either two or three pictures of these on there, and most people don't know very much information on them. These made by a company called Falls Products, and I think it was in Indiana. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure somewhere in Indiana. But I actually found the, uh, the history on these things and uh, was really surprised. What had happened was, you know, this was produced, I, I guess all of them were produced in 1957, but this company, uh, from what I read from a lawsuit that I found, uh, the blade broke on one of these and actually went all the way to a neighbor's yard and hit the neighbor in the wrist, and I don't know how much damage it done, cut his wrist off or, or you know, just injured him bad, but it hit him, and he sued him, and actually won a lawsuit against the the company and they went out of business so it's my understanding that these was only made in 1957 and the entire front housing is cast aluminum the grill is cast iron for the weight and then uh it's got a steel hood on it and this one's actually in you know fairly nice shape and you know i don't think it's quite as good as the other one was before i started on it but uh neat little little mowers neat history with them and uh like I said, most people haven't seen, I mean, they've seen Bantam garden tractors, but they have not seen Bantam lawnmowers. So, and I like, kind of like that front wheel drive setup. And, uh, but neat little mowers. Uh, had a pull start on the top. This one had you wrap, but I got the pull start for the other one. But you had one lever to make it go, and then the lower lever actually was for the blade. And just a single blade on it. So. All right, I've got one more, I'll show you. Okay, this one here is a Swisher. And this is also a front wheel drive, single front wheel. And this is a Tecumseh engine on this one. And this was another one of them deals to where I had a trade going on of some kind and this was thrown in on the trade. So uh, I took it and just been sitting. But, uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I, this is a little bigger cut. These are probably 30 inch, but uh, actually must have two blades, maybe. Hmm. Shouldn't have. Yeah, they actually do. We've either got two or three. Yeah, two blades. One blade, this blade's short and the other blade's longer. That's kind of weird. But uh, chain drive down to the front where the Bantam is a gear drive and uh, pretty neat mower. And like I said, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping and thinking that my grandson is, is going to be into mechanical things. You know, he's already grabbing wrenches and turning and stuff like that. So, you know, when he gets to age, we can, uh, you know, redo one or a couple of them and, and uh, you know, let him take them to a show or play around with them, whatever he wants to do. But, uh, you know, when you when you start learning, this is a, a great thing to start learning on. Uh, just need to take the blades off, because 
a little kid don't need nothing with blades on it. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody watching. Like I said, I just wanted to show everybody this and uh, Zippo Bargain, let him take a look at that. And I know uh, the Bantam, we had spoke about it also. So, but All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Bye.